we have zeros of a, of a polynomial, then it is relatively easy to find the multiplicities. We'll have to factor the polynomial completely and use exponents to indicate multiple factors. And we have to remember that if x minus c appears in the factorization, then c is the zero and the exponent of that factor x minus c indicates the multiplicity. So in my example, I have function f of x equal 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 squared times x minus 5 to the fourth. I have multiple factors of the form x minus c and therefore I will have multiple zeros. I will go factor by factor and find out zero of that factor and the multiplicity of that zero. First factor that appears in that factorization is 2. 2 does not produce any zero because it's not of the form x minus c. So the first factor that will produce the zero is x minus 3. x minus 3 appears once so the zero is three and the multiplicity is one. The next factor is x plus two. So the zero is negative two and this, is, this factor appears just once, so the multiplicity is one. Next factor is x plus three squared. This factor gives me zero negative three and it is, its multiplicity is two because the exponent of that factor is two. The last factor produces 0, 5 because it's a factor x minus 5 and since the factor appears four times in multiplication, the multiplicity of that 0 is 4. So this way we determined the zeros of the function f of x, 3, negative 2, negative 3 and 5 and the multiplicity respectively 1, 1, 2 and 4.